Today's lesson is on triangle congruence by angle side angle and angle angle side. Take a minute to read over the learning goal and the scale. Find where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. In our last lesson, we learned we can prove two triangles are congruent without having to show all their corresponding parts are congruent. We already know that triangles are congruent if two pairs of sides and the included angles are congruent. That's our side angle side postulate. We can also prove triangles congruent using other groupings of angles and sides. We can prove two triangles congruent by using one pair of corresponding sides and two pairs of corresponding angles. Let's have a look at the angle side angle postulate. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. In this triangle, angle A is congruent to angle D of this triangle. Side AC is congruent to side DF, and angle C is congruent to angle F. Here we have angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by the angle side angle postulate. In example one, we will use angle side angle. Which two triangles are congruent by angle side angle? Explain. Well, we know that in order to use the angle side angle postulate, congruent corresponding sides must be included between the two congruent corresponding angles. So let's have a look at triangle SUV. Here we have angle U, side UV, and angle V. So side UV is included between the two given angles. In triangle ONE, we have angle E, we have side EO, and we have angle O. Side EO is included between the two angles. Finally, in triangle TWA, we have two angles, and side WA is not included between angles T and W. Therefore, this is not angle side angle. The two triangles that we can prove congruent by angle side angle are triangle SUV and triangle NEO. Notice that we listed the names of the triangles in corresponding congruent order. Pause the video and do you try number one. Which two triangles are congruent by angle side angle? Explain. When using angle side angle, we want the congruent corresponding sides to be included between the two angles. So here in triangle HOG, we have side HG included between angle H and angle G. In triangle FIN, we have side FN, but it is not included between angles N and I. However, in triangle CAT, we have included side CA between angle C and angle A. Therefore, triangle HOG is congruent to triangle ATC by angle side angle. And notice that we listed our corresponding parts in order. In example two, we will write a proof using angle side angle. The members of a teen organization are building a miniature golf course at your town's youth center. The design plan calls for the first hole to have two congruent triangular bumpers. Prove that the bumpers on the first hole shown at the right meet the conditions of the plans. We want to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Let's start with the given information that side AB is congruent to side DE and that angle A is congruent to angle D. Next, we can see that angle B and angle E are right angles. That is also given information. In step three, we know that angle B is congruent to angle E because all right angles are congruent. 
in step four, since we have an angle, a side, and an angle congruent to an angle, a side, and an angle of both triangles, we know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by the angle side angle postulate. Pause the video and do you try number two. Here, we want to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AED. Let's start with our given information that angle CAB is congruent to angle DAE and side BA is congruent to side EA. Next, let's look at angle B and angle E that was given that they are both right angles. For statement three, angle B is congruent to angle E because all right angles are congruent. And for statement four, we can go ahead and say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AED by angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. We can also prove triangles congruent by using two angles and a non-included side. Let's have a look at the angle-angle-side theorem. If two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the corresponding non-included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Here, angle A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, and side AC is congruent to side DF. Notice that side AC is not included between angles A and B. Side DF is not included between angles D and angle E. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Have a look below at two other examples of the angle-angle side theorem. Let's take a minute to prove the angle-angle side theorem. We want to prove triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Notice that the given information is that angle A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, and non-included sides AC and DF are congruent. Notice that side AC is corresponding to side DF because they are between the angles with one arc and no arcs. Since the given information is angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side, let's see if we can figure out another way to prove these triangles congruent, therefore proving that angle, angle, side theorem does work. Let's start with statements one and two being our given information. Angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle B is congruent to angle E. Because we know two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another, by the third angles theorem, we can state that angle C is congruent to angle F. For statement four, let's use the given information that side AC is congruent to side DF. Now we have angle, side, angle, congruent to an angle, side, and an angle of both triangles. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by angle, side, angle postulate. Since we started off with the given information of two angles and a non-included side of one triangle being congruent to two angles and a non-included side of another and prove the triangles congruent by angle, side, angle, we know that the angle, angle, side theorem also works. In example three, we will write a proof using the angle, angle, side theorem. Let's start with the given information that angle M is congruent to angle K and that side WM is parallel to side RK. Since we have sides that are parallel, let's look for alternate interior angles. Here, we can see that angle MWR is congruent to angle KRW by the alternate interior angles theorem. We also know that side WR is congruent to side RW by the reflexive property of congruence. 
because we have an angle, an angle, and a non-included side congruent to an angle, an angle, and a non-included side, triangle WMR is congruent to triangle RKW by the angle-angle side theorem. Let's see if we can prove these two same triangles congruent by using angle-side angle instead. Let's start with the same pieces of given information. Remember, angle MWR is congruent to angle KRW because they are alternate interior angles. Now, by the third angle theorem, we know that angle MRW is congruent to angle KWR. Side WR is congruent to side RW because of the reflexive property of congruence. Now that we have two angles and an included side congruent to two corresponding angles and an included side, we know that triangle WMR is congruent to triangle RKW by angle side angle. Pause the video and do you try number three. Here, we want to prove that triangle SRP is congruent to triangle QRP. Let's start with the given information that angle S is congruent to angle Q and that side RP bisects angle SRQ. Because we know the definition of bisect and side RP bisects angle SRQ, we know that angle SRP is congruent to angle QRP. We also know that by the reflexive property of congruence, side RP is congruent to side RP. Since we have two angles and a non-included side congruent to two angles and a non-included side, triangle SRP is congruent to triangle QRP by the angle-angle side theorem. In example four, we will determine whether triangles are congruent. Here, we want to use the diagram at the right. Which of the following statements best represents the answers and justification to the question, is triangle BIF congruent to triangle UTO? In both triangles, we have two angles and a non-included side, two angles and a non-included side that are congruent. However, side BF is not corresponding to side OT. Side BF is corresponding to side UO. Therefore, we cannot prove that the triangles are congruent because side BF is not corresponding to side TO. The answer is B. Pause the video and do you try number four. Here we have two corresponding sides and two corresponding angles of two triangles that are congruent. We know that angle PRA is congruent to angle SRI because they are vertical angles. Now since we have an angle another angle and a non-included side congruent to an angle, another angle, and a non-included side, that these two triangles are congruent by angle-angle side. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If there are any questions you are unsure of, please ask me tomorrow in class. If you rock the lesson check, take a shot at the challenge. I'm sure you can get it done. Take a minute to reread the learning goal on the scale. See if you've climbed the scale any higher since going over the lesson.